All right, we're going to go over the Google-based integration with Magento. Um, a lot of people seem to be having problems, um, and it just doesn't seem that complicated. I don't know why people are editing files. Um, so you're going to go into Catalog, Attributes, Manage Attributes. You're going to add a new attribute called Condition. Okay, as you can see, I've already done it here, but I'll walk you through the steps. Click Add New Attribute, Title it Condition. Uh, scope is global in this case. Okay, and you're going to choose Drop Down. All right, then you're going to go to Manage Label and Options. Uh -oh. Manage label and options here. Um, I call the label conditions with a capital C. I go back to Jamie. And then add your two options, which in this case is new, is your first option. And I give a position of one. And then uh, used is your second option. Remember, keep it as. Lowercase, no capital letters issued. Position two for me. Save a tribute. Oh, as you can see, it's it's there. Everything's there. So we're going to go back up to catalog, manage uh, attribute sets. Click on Default Attribute Set, and on the right-hand side, you should see the, your new um, thing called Condition. Okay, uh, I've already added mine, so you see it listed under Name. Um, just like I'm going to do with Model here, you just go over, click on it, and drag it in. Click Save Attribute Set. So go over, go to your condition, and then click Save Attribute Set. Okay, and uh, and as you can see, it's I put mine right under name. It makes it easy. So we're gonna go Google Base, manage attributes or attributes, whatever you wanna call it. Um, as you can see, I already have an attribute called condition here, but I'm gonna go ahead and click add a new one and choose condition with the capital C, and then Google Base attribute choose condition with a lowercase C. Scroll up, choose Save Mapping, but I've already done this, so I'm actually not going to click that. Google Base, Manage Items. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Manage, we're going to go to Manage Products. We're going to go to the this uh, product here, the Momo Seat, and you can see the new condition right there. Go ahead and dr choose drop down, click New, click Save. And we're going to go to Google Base, Manage Items, View Available Products. Go down and choose the one we just changed to Product New, which is Momo Safari Excel. All right, click Add to Google Base and choose Submit. And you can see where it says Total One Items Added Successfully. And you see it has my successful items. I really hope that uh, has helped you out, and uh, if you have questions, uh, leave comments. I'll try my best. I'm fairly busy, but I'll try my best to get back to you. Thank you. Uh, check out my website, peakracer.com is my store, my blog, danperetta.com, and have a great day.